Welcome to another beautiful day in Wrocław. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again, or welcome if you are new to the channel. We are going to go exploring some more today. We're going to see some churches on some islands. We're going to see some awesome bridges and more beautiful colored buildings like this. It's going to be a really, really fun video. But first, breakfast time. While I'm in other countries, I do my best to pronounce words and uh, merge with the locals. And so I've ordered for breakfast, breakfast with eggs. And this is Aga here, she's uh, showing me around today. And the wait waitress here laughed at me because I said, Snadiani ze jajkiem. They're laughing at me like I'm getting it wrong. But apparently I got it more or less correct and they understood. So that's a plus. Uh, hopefully it'll taste good. This place, Charlotte's, is very busy. The bread looks amazing. They're making croissants fresh in the ovens over there. So hopefully it'll fill us up for the day at least. So I have gone for a hot chocolate. We've got some uh, fancy bread and a croissant. Surprise sauces, which are, I think that's white chocolate, caramel and a, a jam. Not sure what type of jam. And an egg. Yeah, a fried egg. And then uh, some granola over there. Yeah. It looks yummy. If you're a hamster or something like that. Uh, right, let's tuck in. Right, let's test out the, I assume it's more or less freshly baked uh, with the runny yolk. Okay, let's go. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's very good. That's very, very good. Okay, on to the sweet. Uh, croissant, uh, let's try, I don't know what this is. I think it's like a white chocolate. Let's dip. Mmm. I'm not sure what it is. It's sort of white chocolate, but caramelly. Weird, okay. Next. That is caramel. Okay. My teeth will fall out. I don't know if you should be eating that in the morning because that is very, very sweet. Okay, the jam. Oh, this looks good. Oh my God, the jam has got a real kick to it. That is vibrant, that is amazing. A vibrant, I don't know if that's the right word. Anyway, amazing breakfast. I'm going to finish this off and then we're going to go on our adventure for today. So behind me we've got Wrocław Sprybatski. Uh, this was an old train station that's not in use anymore. It's a real cultural place with food, food hall inside. They do plan on getting it up and running again, but now on Sundays, as you can see, uh, it is a bustling marketplace uh, and it is pretty busy here selling all sorts. So as you can see now, it is not a train station in use. It is a food hall, drinks, uh, apparently, according to the guide, uh, some of the best ribs in Wrocław. Is this a good thing? Do you think this is better having this as a food hall or should it go back to being a train station? Let me know down in the comments and obviously while you're there, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Where the old tracks were, we have got a busy marketplace selling all sorts, the usual sort of stuff. Bras, we've just seen bras that you could live in. Who has boobs that big? I don't know. T-shirts, shoes, there's some fruit and veg here. Uh, basically, it's all sorts. You can come to this place, and I think it's probably the same as a lot of marketplaces around the world where uh, you've got people just trying to make a living. But as soon as we go further down, apparently you get the people that find things in bins and whatnot and two left shoes and things like that and try and sell just to try and survive. So we'll see what else we can find in this marketplace. Thank you. 
Jeden mała. Ma jeden mała. Dziękuję. Dziękuję. I have bought this at the marketplace. Ostypik. Um, what's in it? So that's a traditional mountaineer's cheese. It's a smoked sheep's cheese. That's original product of Poland. It's like a registered thing like champagne. The true Ostypik only comes from a very specific region of Poland mountains. And here, what Rod got is like the grilled version of it. So it's like put on a on a grill, warmed up a bit. It's melted and go inside. Okay. And it's called seared and Polish national treasure. I'm gonna try it. So this tourists are not having this, are they? No, I hope not. Not rarely in Wrocław. Okay. But very often in Polish mountains. Let's give it a try. It's quite hot. It's very cheesy. And very sheepy. Very sheepy. Um, cut that, cut that. <laughs> All right, it, it's not awful. It's very sheepy. Very sheepy, if that makes sense to you. Ah, oh, it's just, it's like halloumi, and I like halloumi, but think of the taste of halloumi cheese fried, but whack it up times 10, and it's very, that was difficult to eat. In fact, I didn't eat it. Uh, but Agar's gonna finish it. Yes. This has gotta be the biggest marketplace I've been to. It is huge. It's so long, obviously going down uh, the railway tracks. And we've gone from the fairly nice quality stuff. They've all got the gazebos, tables up and about. Um, now we're going to bits of tarpaulin on the floor and random things that people seem to have found on top of them. And I think this is, this looks quite sad actually because people are just trying to scrape a living now I reckon. But as you can see, there's just tarpaulin on the floor and random things that people have found it seems. Toys and shoes and uh, yeah. That was a truly incredible to see the difference, uh, especially the difference in quality. But what we found was the further you go, and when you go to the bits where they got tarpaulin and, and bits and bobs that they found, there are some real gems. If you know what you're looking for, there was some old Russian memorabilia. Memorabilia for what, what um, Olympics was it? So it was memorabilia from uh, Moscow Olympics. So there was the bear, a little bear yes. statue from the Russian Olympics. That may be worth a fair bit, right? It could be worth a it fair bit. It could be, bit. it could not be. It's one of those ones you don't know. But now what we've come to at the end is, um, there are factories now, however, uh, these buildings used to be uh, where the poles were put to forced labor during the Nazi occupation, right? Yes, this, this general area was during the Nazi, so not Nazi occupation because Wrocław was a German uh, It was city, German, so, yes, yes, sorry. During that time, this general industrial area was a uh, forced labor camp. So forced Polish labor. Polish people and Jewish people were forced to work here under guard to fuel the German war effort. Today, it's partly industrial area so we have a Delaval but it's but it's as I said it's bizarre because you've got the normal factories and actually they don't necessarily look they look modern enough um, they don't look yes, that no. bad however next to it you've got concert hall yes, a, and a sports yeah. complex you've got table tennis badminton a gym just yeah it's it's completely changed in the yes. fact and, and the use and it's and it's just completely changed in however many years uh, that's that's yes. passed the, 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 the area is being refurbished for example there's in the middle of this area there's like a tiny, tiny diner where two Japanese ladies uh, are selling original bento from 10 in the morning until 2 in the morning. On, on but there's no one, no one knows about there's it. No right? one there's here. no one here. No there's literally no one here. Of nowhere. And, and two Japanese ladies have a bento shop there. It's wow. Like it, it becomes a place, once it was a place of oppression, now it becomes a place of culture of industry of course but also of concert of culture so i will i uh, attended here a concert of postmodern jukebox i was on whatever that is electric cowboy here whatever so that many, many electric cowboy, electric cowboy yeah, German, what is electric yeah, cowboy German electro okay That's so over here we've got the modern art museum and something quite 
inspirational, I think. So in English, it says it was, it was, it was, it is, and then it will be. And so it's like looking into the future. Yes, you can look back, but look into the future, what there is to see, what the excitement is, and the hope for the future. Or that, certainly that's the way I would take it. But next to it, we have got the train going up to the sky. I would love to know if you guys think there is a meaning behind any of this. Is it just plonk there for, for it to look good? Or maybe it's that sign of hope as well, if we want to make something from it. Uh, the train going up to the sky. Let me know in the comments what you think. So at the moment we're on Mischainska Island, but from this lookout you can see lots of different islands because Wrocław is known as the Venice of Poland because there are loads of rivers, loads of islands. But some interesting things, over there, the story we've got there is a little, little party area and students would go down there and the fun fact is they would do lots of naughty things, lots of illegal things <laughs> and all that sort of stuff. But the way that they knew police were coming is they would turn the music up louder and everyone would know to hide things. So we got that. Over there in the creamy white building, I can't remember what it's called, Tamka. Tamka. Over there is actually a squatter's island. So it's full of, well, mad young crazy people. Uh, there's a bit of a commune. Apparently it's quite fun over there. And then you come around this way and the beautiful university building that hopefully we're going to explore <laughs> shortly as well. But as you, uh, it is absolutely beautiful. It might be better than places like Winchester College, which is known for its history. Look at it, it's just gorgeous. Now in Wrocław in 1997, a catastrophe happened. The whole city flooded and not just a little bit of water, it really, really flooded. And this is to commemorate the hard work that the, the population of Wrocław did to save everything. Now this one is to save a librarian saving books, but people banded together around the zoo to save all the animals. And catastrophes like this, they actually bring out the good in people. They, they make people work together. So this really is a monument to celebrate the, the good in people and the population of Wrocław during that really, really awful time. So we've come into Wrocław University and it is very, very grand. This is the auditorium where you'd have singing and things like that. But just look around, look up. The paintings on the walls and it is so grand. And this is the sort of thing you might find, it would seem, in royalty, you know, in churches and, and royal households. But this is the university. Just check this out here. Oh, wow. That looks like the Illuminati triangle. It was a chapel. Yes, but it's, it's just, this is incredible. E you know, every wall you look at, you've got different bits of artwork painted on directly onto the wall, like you would find in churches. And so, you know, if that's what possibly originally was a chapel, it's absolutely stunning. So sitting high up there is Leopold, the Roman emperor. And he came here and he set up the original Jesuit schools, which then later became the universities. And this building is to celebrate him, or this room is to celebrate him. As you can see, there is gold everywhere. It is once again, same as the auditorium, very grand, um, very like a prestigious, maybe slightly pretentious room, maybe. Mm. Some people love it, don't they? Baroque. Some people love it. Baroque. Not Baroque, Baroque. But it is beautiful. It really, really is. We've made it all the way at the top of the university building and it's an incredible view of the city. You've got the islands over that side and then you can look over the old town here. But you can tell how much of a religious place this is because just within eyesight, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven churches all within the space of what? 
few hundred meters, but it's such an incredible sight to see. And I love these orange tiled buildings. The only problem is you've got the more modern coming in, which is gray, which puts a bit of a dampener on, but it's an awesome sight from here to be able to look down onto the city. I'm on the famous Tumski Bridge. Now this bridge is known for having the padlocks on, the bridge of love, and people would put engraved padlocks with the initials and the hearts on. However, it is strictly forbidden now because the weight of all the padlocks would lower. Oh, there's still some on there, look, there's still some, but they'll get cut off. All the weight would push the bridge down so they couldn't have it. And over there, over in the distance, people have started putting padlocks on there instead. But it's a bridge to the island owned by the church. Well, that ends a very long day. Hang on, uh, 25,000 steps all around the city, seeing places, hopefully, that most tourists wouldn't have seen, like that crazy marketplace. And it's all thanks to uh, Aga over here, she's not on screen, and Dominic, who's also not on screen, but they've been taking me around and showing me some really, really cool places, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Now, I have come, Pashibus, to Pasubus for burger and chips because I need some energy. Thank you so much for watching. Please do make sure you like and subscribe. Join me for the next one and I'll catch you next time.